So, you want to take Instagram photos, find a cute girl, like a really cute one, get some hipster props. <laughs> now find a good location. You ready? You ready? You ready? And then film some rad video. And now, take some photos. All right, so you found a cute girl, you found some props, you drove to a cool location. Now it's time to take dope photos for your Instagram feed, because remember, your likes determine your self-worth as a photographer. So we're gonna get started here. We're at this very nice scene. We have a lot of natural light coming from the bright sun. It's kind of that sunset hour, that really clean light that I love shooting, plus it's warm, tones coming into the photo naturally. All right, so the white balance we're using today is 7,000. I'm gonna be shooting at an aperture of 1.4. I love shooting at my lowest aperture possible because I love the creamy bokeh in the background. And since we have one subject, we can really isolate her and just focus on her one eye or any other subject like the coffee mug or her hat and really utilize that shadow of the field. If I was shooting with a couple and I had wanted both of them in focus, I'd shoot 2.8, but because we just have her, 1.4. The shutter speed I'm using is 2,000th of a second and the ISO 200. So now I'm going to show you guys behind the scenes of how I would capture the photos here. You're just going to hear a raw video of us just hanging out, having fun. So let's start this GoPro up and take some photos. So the first thing you want to do is just kind of capture the story of the scene. You know, her walking into this area, some water shots of her just like kind of walking, hanging out. And then we're gonna take her down to the bottom of this walkway here. If you're new to this subject, kind of get to know her before the shoot. Um, so it's not awkward. Is this awkward? <laughs> Luckily, I'm gonna marry this woman. So uh, it's very easy to make her laugh in front of the camera. But uh, if you're a newer photographer, um, really make sure your subject's at ease before you even start taking photos. Like just hang out and talk for 20 minutes before the shoot, before you even take out a camera. If you're meeting a model for the first time, don't just be like, Hi, my name's Jeremy, and then start taking photos. Man, that's not gonna be a good first impression, so don't do that. Uh, so yeah, just get to know that model. Maybe uh, ask the model bring a friend, or you can bring a friend, so it's not just one-on-one, -on -one, not as awkward. There's more conversations going on. And while you're taking photos, maybe get some music going, some good tunes. Um, I don't do that a lot, because I, I don't really feel the need to, but if you're new to this, just get some tunes, get the vibes going. But yeah, we're gonna get started here, so start walking down the aisle, my love. I'm getting married. A little bit more over, like kind of like nine degrees, yeah. And you can look straight out into the sun. <laughs> uh, if I have her standing right there, the sun's right there. So if I, here's the camera, here's the lens right now, the sun is behind her. But if we put the sun literally behind her, it's going to put a halo around her. So we're going to do that. So it looks really good. So if, we're, if we have the sun literally behind her, it looks like that. But if we peek a little bit here, all right, now you're going to see a sun flare, which is really desirable. So get up nice and close so you don't have a house in the background. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, so this scene I really like because there's a little opening here. So I'm going to go to standing right there. And now we don't have any of those, uh, that house in the background or anything like that. You want to make sure your background is good. Um, what would make this background better if they're like tree leaves kind of halfway into the pond, but we don't have that. Uh, because the sun would illuminate the trees, blah, blah, blah. That's what I'm used to, but here, let's do this. Uh, this is kind of a cool shot. Just uh, switching up your angles, uh, you know, kind of get a wide shot like back here. Now, usually I don't like doing too wide of a shot, so I like to get nice and close to with this focal length. Uh, I forgot to tell you the lens we're using. We're using a uh, equivalent of a 35 millimeter lens. To be specific, it's the 23 millimeter f1.4. But because it's on a crop frame, it's a we're using it as if, as if it was a 35 millimeter. One of my favorite lenses because it's nice and small, easy to pick up. And it starts to get creative with what you brought out. So you know, if you brought out the hat, the maybe you brought out a picnic or a little details, feel free to take close-up photos of like the coffee mug or anything else that kind of told the story of your photo shoot and your time. And if you shoot at a low aperture, your foreground can be very blurry. And that's really fun to get creative with. So if you can sit down right there, we're gonna shoot through kind of this green stuff right here. <laughs> okay. 
can definitely try out different elevations, like shooting up here is kind of cool. And shoot down here, it just really changes up your perspective. And how the lighting is hitting her. So another cool thing is like, hey, Kira, look at the light. If you get her looking at the light, it'll be a totally different look and feel than if you, she looked to her left, look to your left. And a little bit more towards me, a little bit more to your left. Now there's a lot more shade and contrast on her face. Instead, if she looked to your right again, then like her her face really pops. It's really like the main feature of the subject here. It's the main feature of this image. But if she puts another way, then it's like boom. Then you just it's more mysterious. It's more like the scene is more of the the scene is more of the the main Deep background. Right now we have this awesome tree that's lit by the sun. So if I have her here in front of the tree, uh, the tree's still going to be totally nice focus. It's going to be really rich focus. It's going to be very bright and airy. So let's take that photo. Yeah, I'll send you. A, I'll have you closer. So we're going to take two photos here. The first one is if she was right here. So there's larger separation between her and the tree. So we're going to take that photo. So that means we're going to have better bokeh. It's going to look a lot more crisp. <laughs> Alright, we made it to location number two. Unfortunately, our sun is temporary behind a cloud. So I'm gonna say, fuck off cloud, and we'll hopefully we'll have sun in five minutes. And now it's nice to switch up the scenes. Over there, I was liking it, but there was a lot of direct sun coming into it, which is great for photos. However, you wanna switch it up sometimes. So I came to a path where there's a lot of cool trees, and you can't see the trees right now, but I promise you, there are trees. <laughs> so we're gonna take some photos here, hopefully the sun comes out, and then we'll do some photos where she is center in the middle of the trees and the arch. As you can see, it's kind of a nice foreground, and uh, like like we were doing before, you can uh, shoot through things that are naturally on the ground, or you can kill the earth and shoot through it. And as you can see, I'm gonna break it even more. I'm gonna turn it into a V, so there's two things to shoot through. <laughs> kind of frames your subject nicely. Alright guys, we did it. We took some photos for the gram because that's all that's important in life, showing off your life on Instagram. So if you guys want to see us edit those photos now, we're going to bring them into Lightroom and we'll see you in that video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to add below in the comments. We'll totally forget to reply to those. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have a rad day guys. If you have any questions, feel free to add them below. And